Hey there, this is Jim McCann, creator of Rocket Car, and I today am going to be showing you uh, a video version of my text tutorial for Rocket Car editing. So the first thing you're going to need in order to create your own levels in Rocket Car is the latest version of Rocket Car, which right now is version 3.1, and it's making its way through distribution channels, so if you don't have it yet, you probably will soon. Uh, and you need the full version, uh, so you should probably go buy Rocket Car. Uh, just pause the video, go buy Rocket Car, come back, I'll wait, don't worry. Back? Good, thanks. Um, right, so to edit in Rocket Car, you're going to need to pass a command line option to Rocket Car, and the easiest way I find to do this is using a cmd.exe. That is using a terminal. So I'm going to run it by hitting Win key R and typing CMD. Let me bring it down to the capture region here. Now I'll just CD over to the directory where Rocket Car is, which is desktop Rocket Car v31. And now I'll run rocketcar.exe and pass the command line parameter edit. So it still has to load up some game assets, which is why it takes a little while. So here's the main editing view. There's nothing in it yet because we haven't made our level yet. However, there is this little indicator here which shows the current view orientation. For challenge levels, you always want the view orientation to be pointed up with red on the right. Uh, you can change this view orientation, though I don't know why you would since you always want it to be pointed up, by using the square braces and the P key. So here I'm pressing the right square brace to rotate, and if I press P, it flips. But you always want arrow up, red on the right. Now every level in Rocket Car needs a portal to start and at least one gem for the goal. So to create the portal, I'll put my mouse cursor where I'd like the portal to be. I'll press space to bring up the command or the create prompt. The create prompt sometimes ends up with a space in it after you press space. Uh, I'm not actually sure why but I press backspace to delete that space. Now I type what I want to create. In this case, I want to create a portal side, so I type side. Now I press enter, and there's my portal side. Now I put my mouse where I'd like the gem to be, maybe right there. I type space to bring up the creation portal, or the creation prompt. I type gem, and I press enter. There's my gem. So now we have a very basic level. If I go, well, I can move things around by right-clicking on them to select them, and then by typing G to move them, moving my mouse, and then left-clicking to set them back down. If I accidentally pick something up and I don't want to move it, I can right-click to cancel the move. I can preview the, or I can, I can playtest the level by right-clicking on a portal and pressing Enter to enter the level through that portal. Now I can play. Got the gem. Great. Now. There's one problem though, which is that if we looked at, look at our prompt here, we see that uh, nothing has good names. So the, the, the path that got saved when I got that gem really looks quite bizarre. It's just a bunch of blanks here. And it says level what? And there's just no level name either. So to rectify this, we need to name things. To name the level, you simply save the level. You press F1 to save, type the name. I'm gonna go with tutorial 02. There it is. Uh, by the way, if you are interested in how to load levels, that's F4. Just press F4, and then you can load another level, like say Tutorial 01. Oh, that's a nice looking level. But let's go back to Tutorial 02. All right, now to name the portal, we're gonna need to right click on it to select it. Now go into, press tab to go into edit mode. Let me move the view a little bit so that edit mode isn't getting covered up. And then you press the down arrow key to select the name. Press enter, type the name you'd like. Start, in this case, is the canonical name for the portal side in a challenge level. Enter to confirm, escape to exit, edit mode. Again, for the gem, right-click to select, tab to go into edit mode, enter on the name to edit the name, call it goal, that's the canonical name for a gem in a challenge level. Enter to confirm, escape to leave edit mode. Now we've got everything named, I'll press F1, to save the level level again, enter. Level is now saved. We can play test again. 
Let's right click on the portal. Uh, as, as I was saying, that was playtest, right click on the portal and press enter, and we played through. Now if we looked at the prompt, we can see that that path we just made got saved with a much more reasonable name. Uh, and in fact, if we save this level and we quit and we opened up Rocket Car proper, uh, this level would appear in the challenge files. So that's great. Uh, but let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's add some level geometry. So we'll have the portal start over here. Uh, actually, let's rotate the portal. That's with the arrow keys. You can rotate the portal. And maybe have it over here. And we'll put the gem over here. And now we need a platform. So to create a platform, we open up the creation prompt with space, type poly, create a polygon platform. There it is. We can move the platform around and select it just like we select um, portals and gems. And we can edit the shape of this platform by typing tab while the platform is selected to go into edit mode. Now we can right click to select vertices and use G to move them. You can hold down shift to select multiple vertices. Uh, you can type E to extrude your current vertices. You can type R to rotate, you can type S to scale. So I'll just do that, sort of come up with like a, a wacky looking kind of platform here. If you ever feel like you need more detail in an area, you can subdivide edges by pressing D to divide. Now I've got lots and lots of detail here. I make a smooth curve. If you ever think you have some vertices that you don't need, you can just type X to delete them. So that is uh, how you do editing on platforms. I'm going to rotate the start portal, maybe put it over here, go back to the platform and tweak it a little bit more. Try to make it join up with the start portal maybe. That's kind of cool looking. Um, yeah, and now I can save my level again. Save often. There are a few crash bugs in the editor. Nothing I can consistently reproduce, unfortunately. If you find something, email me. Um, test this. It's a steep slope, but that's all right. And we get the gem. Escape to get back out of playtesting mode. Well, it looks pretty nice. Um, and so that is a basic level. Let's just save it up one more time just to be sure. Uh, type, or just close the editor there. Run Rocket Car without any command line parameters to get to the actual game. Pull up some team here, look at the challenge files, and over here in the impossible challenge files, there's the level we created. We can load it right up. Give it a playthrough. There we go. Uh, and it's even saving our best time. It's showing it right here in the menu. Well, all right, I hope that was helpful. That's how you create a basic level in Rocket Car. You just need to create a portal side, create a gem, create some platforms if you'd like. You can create more than one. Uh, and yeah, make sure everything's named, save it, and it should show up right there in the game for you. All right, have a good day, guys.